There are over 233 million .com domain names already registered. So finding a good domain for your website is getting harder and harder every single day. And while there are a bunch of tools out there that supposedly help, they almost universally suck. Most just add a few predefined words to the start or end of a domain. And this results in terrible names that just don't really make any sense. Plus, they're often really frustrating to use. Some of them even make you click on every single domain to check individually if it's available or not. So with the rise of AI and its widespread availability, we knew that we could use it to make something better. And so we did. We built the perfect free domain name finding tool powered by AI. It helps you find branded domain names that sound really good and meet all of our stringent criteria that we enforce whenever we select a new domain. Here's how it works. Head on over to brandsnap.ai and tell it what your website is gonna be about. It can be something as simple as a paintball blog, or you can go into more detail and say something like a website that is a hub for all things paintball. We'll cover paintball equipment, including reviews, plus tips and guides for beginners and advanced players. I want something that includes the word paintball in it so that it's instantly recognizable. There are a few advanced settings. If you want, you can select the style. Casual is probably the way to go. Plus, you can choose your TLD. .com is really what you want to go with unless you're a tech company or AI company in which case you can select IO or .ai. Then click generate and a few seconds later, you'll be presented with a list of really good sounding domain names. Brandsnap uses AI to come up with clever sounding names that sound genuine and recognizable. I really love this one, Paintball Pulse. I think the alliteration works well in the name. You'll also find scores for length, readability, and recall. Some people claim that a shorter domain name or URL helps you rank in Google. However, John Muller himself has said that this is not true and domain name length is not a ranking factor. You are fake news. It is, however, easier for your visitors to remember and recognize. So there could be some marketing benefits to having a shorter domain name. And so for this reason, Brandsnap will give each domain it generates a length score on one to five. The higher the score, the shorter the length, the better it is. Domain names also need to be easy to read. And remember that on the SERP and in your browser's URL bar, everything is in lowercase and there are no spaces there. So don't make the same mistake as this website. It's a pen shop. Pen Island, take your mind out of the gutter. Or this domain name, which is obviously about long gardening tools with a thin metal blade. Oh, actually that's wrong. That's, that's not what that means at all. It means something completely different. It's actually about Lake Tahoe, obviously. Another rookie mistake is not checking that the social media handles for your name are available on the major social media sites. But Brandsnap will do that too. We actually fell foul of this when we first created Authority Hacker. The previous owner of the Authority Hacker Twitter handle even tried to impersonate us, then almost extort us and try and sell us the Twitter username. Now, fortunately, we were able to get it back from him without having to pay any money to him directly, although it did cost us quite a lot in legal fees and processes to get that done and go through the trademark dispute process. And speaking of trademarks, you definitely don't want to end up like Uzi Nissan. He was the owner of Nissan Computers, a small business in the US. He registered Nissan.com in 1994, and then several years later got into a very expensive legal dispute with the Nissan car company. And although he won it on a technicality, Nissan was his last name, he spent millions of dollars and over 10 years of his life fighting this, and he has gone on record to say it absolutely was not worth it. And this is the exception. In most cases, the trademark owner can just come in and seize your domain name. So do not register a domain name until you're sure that a trademark doesn't already exist. Brandsnap integrates directly with the US Patent and Trademark Office, so it will check directly if you click this button whether a trademark exists for that name already or not. And you probably want to Google the name as well, just to make sure that it hasn't been used for something else uh, nefarious in the past as well. Finally, before you buy your domain, say it out loud 10 times fast. Experts exchange, experts exchange, experts exchange, experts exchange, experts sex change. 
you want to make sure that it doesn't sound like you're saying something else. In our paintball example, the word ballin could be expressed as ballin, balling, or ballin. And this is going to be really frustrating whenever you have to speak your domain name or your email address to someone. Take it from me, I started an SEO company called HireClick once, and half the people I spoke to on the phone thought I was saying HireClick. Congratulations, you're hired. Okay. And there are even more problems if you or someone on your team has a bit of an accent. As we discovered recently on an authority hacker boating trip. Gail, help, I'm sinking, I'm sinking. Hello, uh, this is a uh, French Coast Guard. What are you uh, thinking about? So let's take a look at a couple of non-paintball examples to see what else it can come up with. Here we've gone for the basic search of a golf blog and have kept all the settings on default. And some of these sound really good. I really like putt passion. Swing squad might be a problem because there are different definitions of, of swing that may mean something else. Club chronicles, well, that could be a golf club or it could be a, a nightclub which isn't what you want to associate with. Birdie Babble could work, though it could also be conceivably a bird website. I think Golfing Goals would be good, Golf Chirp, Caddy Craze, that's a really good one as well. And if you don't like any of these, you can simply click and get some more ideas too. Let's take a more competitive example and look at the VPN niche. Now we've described our website as a VPN blog reviewing VPN software and talking about online privacy. And there's some really good examples here. VPN Vaults is good. VPN Whisperer, VPN Chronicle, Surf Safe Now, that's pretty catchy. VPN Wizardry, Privy VPN. And if we compare that to this other tool, I mean, just look at some of the examples here. I mean, these make no sense whatsoever. Plus, we can't even see if they're available straight away. We have to click the button and check. So if you want some fresh name ideas for your next project, head on over to brandsnap.ai. It's 100% free.